Hello everyone, my name is Larseth, and welcome to our other uh, Europa Universalis 4 campaign. And that is as Norway, and as requested, we're going to try and play a colonization game as Norway on this occasion. And actually, although it's nowhere near, obviously, sort of East Asia, which is the focus of this expansion, there's a lot of features which actually are much better to explore, perhaps, as a European nation than... Um, an Asian nation, and that is stuff like the um, the ages. So a lot of these things will be a lot easier to obtain as a sort of Western nation than they will as an Eastern nation. At least you know in the age of discovery, as you progress, other things you know that might change. But for the moment, age of discovery should be. Uh, because of the colonization aspect, easier for uh, Europeans. Whether or not we'll be able to do any of, uh, of that it remains to be seen, but there we go. So, first of all, as always, let's have a quick look through some of these Norwegian I well, the ideas of any country we are, we are playing as, in this case Norway. So, to start off, we get um, National Sailors Modifier, plus 25%, and Ship Durability, plus 10%. So instantly, that should show you that the, the Navy of Norway should be quite a big thing. Um, and again, morale and navies, plus 20% for our first idea. Uh, this one's a little bit of a weird one. Call of our four, forefathers. Um, colonial range, plus 33%. And the reason that's a bit of a weird one is because I, it allows you to recruit explorers and conquistadors, which I believe is the exact same as the second idea from exploration, which is a little bit weird. Um, that seems odd. I mean, the colonial range is obviously very nice. And I guess that makes up for the fact that, you know, Norway is obviously quite far from, like, North America. Anywho, the next idea, ship cost minus 10%. Global trade power, power plus 10%. Production efficiency plus 10%. And then finally, year, yearly prestige plus 1 and 2.5% plus discipline. So, as you can see, heavily, heavily, heavily influenced towards sort of shipbuilding and stuff like that. And then lastly, once we've got all those, we get trade steering plus 20%. So uh, basically it's maritime and trade is essentially what Norway is sort of, uh, sort of, sort of aimed towards, um, which is good because obviously colonization, we want to have a nice strong navy. Um, for the moment though, Norway finds itself in the, uh, as part of the Kalmar, I think it's the Kalmar Union, isn't it? Um, underneath, Denmark um, and Sweden also finds itself in a similar position. So what we're going to, the first port of call is essentially to become independent because what I would like to do is once we, we become independent, um, ideally I'd like England to maybe wreck Scotland so that I could maybe try and take like the Western Islands or Sutherland or so, an area like that off them. That would be really cool. Um, or maybe even go after Ireland in, in some way. Um, so let's start off by sending our trade fleet out. Have we got, have we assigned all our traders? Uh, we haven't, so let's actually do that first. Um, okay, so it's a little weird. Most of our provinces are actually in this trade node. That's a little strange. What if we collect there so we're transferring 0 0.7 what if we collect and also collect there maybe is that worth it let's have a quick look so we collect um 0 0.35 and then 0 0.49. So actually, no, it's better to transfer trade power. Um, and then we'll just collect from here. So that means we probably want our, our barks to protect trade in Lubeck. Yeah, Lubeck, definitely. So let's change that. Uh, Lubeck. And that's not even a letter. Lubeck. I placed my microphone in a bit of an odd position, so I can't even see my keyboard. It's probably not the smartest place to put it. But yeah, there's that. And then we've got some ships, some heavy ships to go with our trade ships. It's actually for the... Uh, I was going to say, for the moment, do I want to join them together? 
maybe. No, no, I do not. Um, let's split those back up again. Send these guys to Lubeck. I was thinking maybe keeping them together as protec protection, but from if a war breaks out, but that probably isn't a wise idea because it'll slow down. Because heavy, shi uh, heavy ships move slower than trade light ships and stuff like that, so it'd actually slow down the fleet and presumably make us less money. So that's that. What's our land force limit? 10. So we've got five infantry and two cavalry. So we probably want two more infantry. Uh, no, sorry, three more infantry. Actually, I'll make them there because it's a little bit closer together. Um, and what do we want to do with our diplomats? So I would imagine immediately, let's spread all of these out. We'll need to start looking for somebody to support our... Uh, messing this up. Support our independence. England would actually support our independence, which is quite surprising. I'm immediately going to capitalize on that, just in case anything changes. So we're going to go for that. Um, who else do I want to support my independence? Is there a... Ooh, I wonder if in this fancy new Diplo uh, macro builder, there is a ask to support, in, support independence. England are the literally the only people who would. Lithuania might. So might Novgorod. Okay, so Lithuania, I'm going to improve relations with. I'm also going to improve relations with... Um, probably England once my guy gets back. Actually, no, we're going to do Novgorod. And then when my diplomat comes back, we'll send our guy over to England. Uh, trade efficiency plus 10%. That's always good. So we'll improve relations with England just so they don't um, basically renounce that support for our independence. And wait basically until either Lithuania... Ooh, Lithuania would do it now. That's very nice. And it would mean we would obviously get them as an ally afterwards, which is very, very nice. Um, we won't ask them... Oh, never mind. <laughs> uh, so Lithuania, um, much to my dismay, have just been uh, transformed into the Commonwealth. That went a lot faster than I was expecting. Oh, well. Uh, looks like we might have to try and find somebody else to help us out. Um, hmm. Weird. Nobody else. What else can I do in which case? Um, there's no way a lot of these people would. Who else was sort of next on that list for supporting my independence? Uh, ask to support independence. QQ, Leinster, Castile. No, a lot of these are way too far away. I'll tell you what, I'm going to maybe improve relations with Austria. Just on the off chance that they, they would be willing to support me. Right, so all of our troops have been produced. How much manpower is on max? 16655. So let's join these together. And what we'll do is reduce our army maintenance down. So we're actually making some money. Because we're not going to need it just yet. And of course we've got big strong Denmark protecting us. Who at the moment are dealing with rebels. As Denmark always are at the start of the game. It's nothing too scary for them. Improve relations with Scotland. No, I'm good. I'm good. Uh, solidified papal relations. That is probably worth doing. So let's get that as a mission. Let's recall our guy from England. And send him all the way over to the papal state. That is a long journey. Uh, what about our navy? So we've got room for two barks. So Denmark's... Uh, military, navy, our allies. Okay. I wish there was a neighbor's button. I really wish there was. It'd make it be very nice. Um, let's find Denmark. They have three lights, seven galleys, and ten transports. 
which mm, to me says that we should build galleys to, you know, at least vaguely try to match their navy. I mean, the main problem for us in Nor for Norway in uh, trying to declare independence is that Sweden, obviously you got Sweden right next to you. I could have sworn that they were supposed to have changed this to be Wasteland. Because I specifically remember in a <clears throat> in a guide that I did, a like running through some of the uh, dev diaries, that this area was meant to have been turned into a wasteland to provide more protection for Norway. And then obviously the development of these provinces adjusted accordingly, but I guess they decided not to. Which is weird, but that would have been very helpful. Um, doing, well, it would, have, would certainly have helped us. Hmm, it's actually, oh, never mind. Novgorod's at war. They're at war with Muscovy, Pskov, Yaroslav, and Perm. Okay, so Novgorod, go bye-bye. What is uh, Sweden's Liberty Desires 38.2? So they're probably... My Liberty Desire is quite high, apparently. <laughs> they're probably going to... Um, well, probably not going to rebel anytime soon. Ooh, gain castle. Lovely. More castles, the better. Where did that... Oh, it's here. Oh, that's really useful. That's closer to Denmark, so that's definitely useful. And their Liberty Desire is actually going down. So I tell... Um, problem is, is Denmark do have quite a sizable army. Certainly a lot bigger than mine. I guess the thing that makes it not so bad, like... Because Sweden, like, generally speaking, you want to be going into Novgorod and, like, you want to be doing stuff in the Baltic coast. So you sort of need to be independent fairly fast, otherwise you fall behind. At least with me, because I'm doing colonization, the first portion of the game is going to be very passive anyway. So I'm not necessarily too worried. Ooh, England are at war with, whoa, lots of people. Um, I'm not necessarily too worried if we don't get to be at war straight away. I'm even gonna mothball my fleet just to uh, save us a bit of money. Um, I don't wanna lose stability, so it looks like we're losing a bit of tax income. Hooray. Ooh, Sigurd Johnson. Nice. So we get plus 25 military power and 10 prestige. How expensive is that guy? I clicked on the wrong one. Oh, he's there. So he's 2.03 monthly. Yeah, we can't even come close to affording that. Which sucks a bit. Of Sweden? What? That is very bizarre. How can... So... It's... But it said we can't ally one another because we're junior partners. That is very weird. Very weird. Am I having to give any... Just out of curiosity, am I having to give any of my money? To... To Denmark. I don't actually know. I'm going to unmothball all my stuff and increase my fort maintenance. Because if Sweden have just done that, that suggests to me that they're going to... War. Uh, I'm going to recall my guy from Novgorod. Would Australia support independence? They're nowhere near, so there's no point doing that with them. So we're going to send a guy to improve relations with Sweden. I have no problem keeping Sweden as a nice little friend to my side, because basically they protect me from anywhere one else. Uh, wow, I say protect. What I mean is, is they're sort of a shield. So, Denmark are allied with Poland, so what I wanted to... And the problem is, is Poland obviously have Lithuania. 
at their disposal. So that makes it a little bit of an issue at the moment. So what I guess I would have to do is wait until England are out of this war against France. Then I would have to... Maybe wait until Poland. I'm just checking England's uh, manpower. Sorry. Uh, no, I'm looking at the wrong type of uh, military tab, aren't I? Um, e -E 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 -E. England. There you go. 12k manpower. Okay. So, I guess, yeah, what I'm going to have to do is wait till England done with this war. Wait till Poland get into a more sizable war than just against these people. Um, because they are probably going to win that quite easily. And England will be pretty useless to me if they're just going to get their butts kicked by the French. Sweden do look a bit like they're, uh, massing an army, though. So, I'm, even though it's costing me a bit of money, I think I'm going to keep my people. Have at least 60 ducats. I'm not going to take that just yet. I'm going to. I don't know, that we'll just continue improving relations with the Pope. Basically, I'm thinking, if they declare war, I want to be ready to help. Poland would join. It's a little bit annoying. Thing is, all we have to do, though, is defend our capital. Maybe it is a good idea to declare war now. Leave it a little bit, because uh, this war doesn't seem to be going too well in Poland's favour. Not because I don't think they'll lose, certainly not. Um, I'm thinking more... Oh dear, England have got uh, War of the Roses as well. God, they've had a really crap start. It's not ideal for them. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Choices, choices, choices. Because I definitely think they'll Poland will win this war. It's more of a question of uh I'll just wait. Maybe Poland will get enough war exhaustion that they won't want to join. So for the moment, I'll reduce my army maintenance and mothball this fleet. Otherwise, I am gonna go into debt, and I don't want that. Maybe I want to. Yeah, maybe I want to uh, develop one of my provinces. Let's find the cheapest one to develop. Wow, cheapest combined with one that gives me the most. Probably might steal my capital, isn't it? That should. Yeah, it gives me a little bit more money coming in. <clears throat> it was at the expense of obviously my... Uh, Admin power, but at the moment, military in elite, the first instance is the most important to me. Um, because what, because basically, I'll probably need that to beat Denmark. That's really annoying phone call, which is probably a cold caller calling to try and sell me something I don't need. All right, let's look on the province overview and who's our earning us the most production. This province earns a bit of money. Oh, it's iron. That's probably why. What's this? Oh, that's fish. So iron. I'll probably develop that province, the production in that province, soon. Um, lose prestige. Fifty-seven. Po mm. I don't want to lose the admin power, so I'm going to lose the prestige, even though it takes us into minus. Which is not great, but what can you do? Let's recall that guy from there. Poland still need quite a lot more war exhaustion before they'll do anything. Are England still in that war? They're still in the war. And, yeah, they're probably going to lose all of their continental holdings. The sooner they're done with this war, the sooner they may even be able to uh, help me. The problem is, is their manpower is probably absolutely tanked. Let's have a look. 
England, yeah, their manpower is non-existent, so they almost wouldn't be too much for help. But collectively, we should be able to beat Denmark, surely. Surely. None of us have got any prestige, so that's not going to even come into it. I mean, what I'm mainly thinking is that... Actually, no, sod it. Let's just go to war and see how it goes. Because what literally the worst thing that can happen is that they will maintain dominance over us. Because this war seems... Never mind. <laughs> I was going to say, this war is about to... Is still going on, yada yada yada, but it's just ended. So, that pretty much scuppers the I, I plan I just had. Because the plan I just had was to go to war with Denmark while these guys were distracted. So now it looks like we're just going to be waiting for... Um, Yeah, just waiting for England maybe to get their strength back. Hmm. I don't think Poland did, did anything in that war. Did they even take anything? I don't think they did. Unless I wasn't paying much attention. Who knows? Novgorod's and have no interest in supporting our independence now. Probably not surprising. And they just insulted us, which is a bit cheeky. Improve relations with Scotland. What are the chances of them doing that? They want my provinces, so that's... That's probably not a great thing. Uh, I'm just going to go for it, see how, far, how close we can get. Mainly for the uh, Diplo reputation bonus that we're, we'll get from it. I have no sort of interest in them otherwise. Ideally, I'd like to actually invade them, but... My CB on Novgorod. No, oh, that's all it is. Is this war still not ended? It's the advantage of being uh, <laughs> uh, under the yoke of another country is you get to sit here for a while and uh, watch, it, watch the landscape change around you. Uh, as for the moment, I can't really do much about it. Although I intend for that to change pretty soon. Ooh, my, uh, my force limit's gone up by one. That's very nice. Is that the same? No, my naval force limit's still 16. Heavy ship and light ship cost is down. Yay, and then we get that. Hopefully, we'll be able to grab a decent general. I'm Maybe that I use the estate to get that um, nobility. I might call a Diet and then get a grand generalship. And then maybe military support as well. Because that'll be a decent help, especially if we could get like a two-star general. I mean, that would just be complete luck. I don't imagine we will get that. But we can dream. We can dream. So Poland start off with a truce with the Ottomans, which they no longer have. So, you know, here's hoping for a hyper-aggressive Ottomans. Fingers crossed. Who just come and uh, squash uh, Poland. Or at least go to war with them. Um, let's swap this to threatening countries. Okay, you improve relations with France. There we go. That's fine. How are we doing on tech-wise, anyway? We should be... Yeah, we're quite close to getting this first military tech. Denmark. Nope. Denmark haven't got it yet, nor Sweden. So that's fine. They'll probably get it around the same time as me, I imagine. Actually, what's their ruler like? Okay, no, they'll get it and laugh to me. Because he's a two. He's a two. So they'll be earning three per month. And we'll be earning... And we're earning five. So. Uh, what's this? 72, this is until... I can't afford to lose... Um, morale of armies, really. If we're going to be going f for a fight. So we'll uh, just get let that base tax be transferred instead. There were worse... There are worse things that could happen. Put it that way. Um, I'm going to, um, how much is this fleet costing us? It's costing us quite a bit, actually. The annoying thing with mothballing fleets is, obviously, if you want to mothball the fleet, 
that essentially, you know, cripples it for like a year afterwards because it has to repair fully. And I believe only repairs by 5% per tick. Or is it 10? No, it's 10%. So yeah, it takes you ages. Our liberty desire reduced, but that's probably... Oh, they just stopped supporting loyalists. Interesting. Yay, first tech. Military tactics. So I'm ahead of both of my neighbors. <clears throat> Excuse me. Norway views Denmark as an un unjust tyrant. Ain't that the truth? Right, let's call this guy back from Scotland. What are the missions we got? Nothing of interest. I'm going to take the accumulate money one. Just because... i got good relations with them, so I'll go... Send an insult. Does that reduce relations significantly enough? Yes. Yes, it does. <laughs> uh, we'll also get Diplo Tech so we can build a marketplace. If we could afford a marketplace, of course, that would be that would be nice. Um, how are England? England is still in that fight. Jeez. Let's reduce our balance. Our, what's it called? Just really want somebody to get into a war. Poland, come on. Poland, attack Hungary or someone. Compensate the traders. That seems like a good thing, even though it'll make us take a loan. Oh, we actually get minus 10 prestige. No, no, we just, we didn't. We just didn't get any prestige. Um, I'm probably going to swap my focus now to admin. Now that we've got the first tech done, just so we can catch up after doing a bit of development. Hmm. So Sweden have got a decent number of troops. So have we... Lithuania probably... What relation is Lithuania with um, Novgorod? Uh, neighbors. Which one's the neighbors tab? There you go. Okay, they dislike one another, so there shouldn't be any. They shouldn't be giving each other any accesses. So theoretically, we should only. Okay, England are out of their war now. Although their manpower is probably non existent. 713. Although they have 27,000 troops, most of which are mercenaries. They also have uh, heretics, which is great for them. I'm actually... No, do I... No, I'm not going to get 50 prestige. Who am I kidding? Bribes growing more excess... Ex more common. Um, accept it, that's the one. Hey! Where did they do that? They decided to... Oh, no, it was there, wasn't it? They started to build a marketplace. Okay, I'll just wait until that uh, gets finished. That seems nice of them. Thank you, Denmark, for wasting a hundred ducats on me. Where's Denmark's army? Oh, they, okay, there it is. And they just dealt with some rebels. Okay. So we're going to get a bit of, a little bit of debt here. I sort of want to wait until this building's done. Because if I declare war, I would imagine what they would cancel that building, maybe. So I didn't have to, they didn't have to pay for it. But damn it, I want a free building. And I will get me a free building. England don't appear, oh, they're at war with Burgundy now. Jeez. Come on, Poland. Okay, their truce is almost up. Next year, January next year. Oh, so in a month's time. So maybe they'll go to war then. I guess we'll find out. Right, for the moment though, I will end the episode. Thank you very much for watching, and I will speak to you in the next one. Take care.